Academy of Diet and Fitness. Chapter 3, Carbohydrate Metabolism Carbohydrate Metabolism Carbohydrate Metabolism involves the breakdown, synthesis and utilization of carbohydrates in the body. Carbohydrates are a primary energy source, crucial for maintaining blood glucose levels and fueling various bodily functions. Here are the key aspects of Carbohydrate Metabolism Glycolysis Glycolysis is the first step in carbohydrate metabolism taking place in the cell's cytoplasm. It breaks down glucose, a 6-carbon sugar, into two 3-carbon pyruvate molecules. This process produces a small amount of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and NADH, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, which cells use for energy production. Pyruvate decarboxylation and the citric acid cycle, Krebs cycle. If oxygen is present, pyruvate from glycolysis enters mitochondria. Pyruvate undergoes decarboxylation, forming acetyl-CoA, entering the citric acid cycle. In this cycle, acetyl-CoA oxidizes, producing ATP, NADH and FADH2 for subsequent energy production. Electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation NADH and FADH2 from glycolysis and the citric acid cycle fuel the electron transport chain in the inner mitochondrial membrane. Electrons move through protein complexes, creating a proton gradient. ATP synthase utilizes this gradient to produce ATP in oxidative phosphorylation. Glycogenesis Excess glucose in high blood sugar conditions is converted to glycogen for storage through glycogenesis. This occurs mainly in the liver and muscles, providing a quick source of glucose when blood levels decrease. Glycogenolysis Glycogenolysis is the breakdown of glycogen into glucose, happening when blood glucose levels are low, like during fasting or exercise. The enzyme glycogen phosphorylase releases glucose 1-phosphate from glycogen, which is further converted to glucose 6-phosphate and then to free glucose. Gluconeogenesis Gluconeogenesis is the synthesis of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, occurring primarily in the liver and kidneys. It is essential for maintaining blood glucose levels during fasting or limited glucose availability. Regulation of blood glucose levels Blood glucose levels are regulated by insulin and glucagon. Insulin promotes glucose uptake and glycogen synthesis while inhibiting gluconeogenesis. Glucagon stimulates glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis, raising blood glucose levels. Carbohydrate metabolism is a tightly regulated process ensuring glucose availability for energy. It involves enzymatic reactions, hormonal control and interaction with other metabolic pathways. Carbohydrates in Energy Metabolism Carbohydrates are essential for energy metabolism, converting food energy into ATP, the primary cellular energy currency, fueling various cellular activities. There are two main types of carbohydrates involved in energy metabolism. Simple Carbohydrates Monosaccharides and Disaccharides Monosaccharides are single sugar units, such as glucose, fructose and galactose. Disaccharides are formed by the combination of two monosaccharides, such as sucrose, glucose plus fructose, lactose, glucose plus galactose, and maltose, glucose plus glucose. Consuming foods with simple carbohydrates leads to rapid digestion, breaking them down into individual sugar units. Glucose, a key monosaccharide, is vital for energy metabolism. Complex carbohydrates, polysaccharides. Polysaccharides consist of long chains of monosaccharides linked together. Starch and glycogen are two important polysaccharides involved in energy storage in plants and animals, respectively. Stages of Carbohydrate Metabolism Digestion The process begins in the mouth, where enzymes start breaking down complex carbohydrates into simpler forms. Further digestion occurs in the small intestine, where enzymes break down disaccharides into monosaccharides. Absorption The monosaccharides, mostly glucose, are absorbed through the intestinal lining into the bloodstream and transported to various tissues and organs in the body. Utilization Once in the bloodstream, glucose is transported to cells where it is utilized to produce ATP through two main processes, glycolysis 
Glycolysis, the first step in glucose breakdown, occurs in the cell cytoplasm. This anaerobic process partially breaks down glucose, yielding a small ATP amount and two pyruvate molecules. Cellular respiration. In the presence of oxygen, pyruvate from glycolysis enters the mitochondria for the citric acid cycle and electron transport chain. This aerobic process generates the majority of ATP from glucose with carbon dioxide and water as byproducts. Glycogen storage. Excess glucose that is not needed for immediate energy production is stored in the liver and muscles as glycogen. When energy demands increase, glycogen can be broken down back into glucose and utilized. Carbohydrates are the body's preferred energy source, but in conditions like prolonged fasting or low-carb diets, the body can adapt to using alternative sources such as fats and ketones for energy. Regulation of blood glucose levels in carbohydrate metabolism The regulation of blood glucose levels is a complex process involving various hormones, enzymes and organs. It is crucial to maintain blood glucose within a narrow range to support normal physiological functions. Here is an overview of the key players involved in the regulation of blood glucose levels. Pancreatic Hormones The pancreas plays a central role in blood glucose regulation through the release of two key hormones, insulin. Insulin, released by pancreatic beta cells, lowers blood glucose levels by promoting glucose uptake in cells, enhancing utilization for energy or storage as glycogen and inhibiting glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis. Glucagon Released by pancreatic alpha cells, glucagon raises blood glucose levels by stimulating glycogenolysis, gluconeogenesis, and lipolysis. Liver glycogen Liver glycogen serves as a glucose reservoir regulated by insulin, promoting glycogenesis when glucose is abundant and glucagon triggering glycogenolysis during low glucose to release it into the bloodstream. Gluconeogenesis in fasting or extended exercise, the liver aids blood glucose regulation through gluconeogenesis. Glucagon and cortisol stimulate this process using amino acids, lactate and glycerol to synthesize glucose. It ensures a steady glucose supply, supporting energy needs during periods of low carbohydrate intake or increased demand. Muscle uptake and utilization during exercise, skeletal muscle enhances blood glucose regulation by increasing glucose uptake from the bloodstream. This is facilitated by insulin-independent mechanisms, allowing the utilization of glucose as an energy source during physical activity and resulting in decreased blood glucose levels. Hormonal regulation Besides insulin and glucagon, other hormones contribute to blood glucose regulation. Epinephrine, Adrenaline released by the adrenal glands during stress or physical activity. Epinephrine stimulates glycogenolysis and inhibits insulin release, leading to increased blood glucose levels. Cortisol, released by the adrenal glands during stress, cortisol promotes gluconeogenesis, increases protein breakdown for amino acid precursors and counteracts insulin effects leading to elevated blood glucose levels. Blood glucose regulation maintains a delicate balance through insulin and glucagon, ensuring glucose utilization, storage or release for homeostasis and normal physiological functions. Carbohydrate energy metabolism, role in disease prevention. Efficient carbohydrate metabolism is crucial for disease prevention, reducing the risk of various health conditions. Here are some ways carbohydrates' role in energy metabolism contributes to disease prevention, type 2 diabetes, prevention and management. Proper carbohydrate metabolism regulated by insulin is essential for maintaining blood sugar levels. Inadequacies or insulin resistance may elevate blood sugar, increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes. A balanced diet emphasizing complex carbohydrates supports glucose regulation and reduces diabetes risk. Obesity and Metabolic Syndrome Prevention Efficient carbohydrate metabolism prevents excess glucose in the bloodstream, reducing the risk of weight gain and obesity. This is crucial since obesity is associated with metabolic syndrome, encompassing high blood pressure, blood sugar, abnormal cholesterol and abdominal obesity. A balanced diet with the right carbohydrate intake supports weight management and lowers the risk of metabolic syndrome. Cardiovascular Disease Prevention 
proper carbohydrate metabolism coupled with consuming fiber rich complex carbohydrates aids in managing cholesterol levels soluble fiber present in foods like oats and legumes lowers ldl cholesterol diminishing the risk of atherosclerosis heart disease and stroke gastrointestinal health Carbohydrates, notably dietary fiber, are integral for a healthy digestive system. Fiber promotes regular bowel movements, prevents constipation, and fosters a diverse and healthy gut microbiome, reducing the risk of gastrointestinal disorders. Chronic inflammation. A diet high in refined carbohydrates and added sugars may induce chronic inflammation linked to diseases like cardiovascular issues, diabetes and certain cancers. Choosing a balanced diet with complex carbohydrates and whole foods can mitigate inflammation, lowering the risk of associated diseases. Cognitive health Efficient carbohydrate metabolism ensures a consistent supply of glucose to the brain vital for cognitive function. This supports brain health and reduces the risk of cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases. To optimize the disease preventing benefits of carbohydrate metabolism, prioritize whole grains, fruits, vegetables and legumes. Minimize refined sugars and processed foods. Combining carbohydrates with protein and healthy fats aids in regulating blood sugar levels and sustaining energy throughout the day.